try this for a third time. The, I've spent the last 20 minutes recording that I want. I just wanted to record two articles so I could remember them together. And my phone just keeps shutting down the little recorder app, turning itself off. I don't know why. So, the first one that I already recorded, but it wasn't recording, will now be the second one, and the second one is now the first one. Chinese newborn found lodged in sewer pipe, now in stable condition at hospital. Written by me, Barry Alyssa Johnson. First posted May 28, 2013 at 11.40 a.m. A newborn baby boy was found lodged in a sewer pipe below a toilet commode in a residential building in Jinhua City, Zhejiang, I don't know how to pronounce it, province in China on Saturday evening. Residents in the building heard the infant's cries through the pipes and notified authorities. Firefighters and medical personnel arrived on the scene shortly thereafter. The emergency crews who first arrived on the scene said that they could see the baby's head far down inside the sewer pipe, which was four inches in diameter, but couldn't reach down far enough to pull him out, according to news reports. Rescuers then descended down one floor where they proceeded to cut out the section of the pipe where the baby was lodged and rushed him to a local hospital where doctors used pliers and a saw to extricate him fully from the pipe. Hospital staff who first examined the child reported that he had initially initially suffered from a low heart rate and difficulty breathing and had sustained multiple bruises to his head, arms, and legs. It's reported that he is now in stable condition, though he remains hospitalized. Since he does not have a name, the hospital has dubbed the, ba- the infant Baby 59. According to reports, the hospital where the baby was treated is taking on the costs of the medical bills associated with this case. Additionally, hospital officials report that they have been receiving numerous donations from residents and surrounding communities of food, clothing, and other gifts. Rumors have spread across the internet that the baby got stuck in the drain as a result of being flushed down the toilet, but according to a report from the Associated Press, The landlord of the building where he was rescued says that scenario is unlikely as there was no blood found in the bathroom. And as far as the landlord knows, none of her tenants were pregnant. The AP says, Associated Press says that this case is being treated as an attempted homicide. However, according to a report from UPI, the Jinhua police have asked the child's mother to come forward saying in a statement mom come back the baby is resilient and alive please show up mom this is your own baby and he should return to your warm embrace soon and cool if neither parent of the child steps forward it's reported that he will be transferred to the custody of social services a video of the rescue went viral on the internet and sparked outrage among the chinese community who spoke out against the abandonment on a website called W-E-I-B-O, Weibo, which is basically a Chinese version of Twitter. Quote, can these people be called human beings? And quote, one user posted on the site. Quote, the parents who did this have hearts even filthier than that sewage pipe. And quote, wrote another. Infant abandonment in China is an all too common occurrence with about 1 million children abandoned in the country, and annu- in the country annually, according to Medical Daily. It's likely that this is due to strict family planning regulations put in place by the Chinese government. The, quote, population and family planning law of the People's Republic of China, unquote, is a strict government policy requiring couples to be married before they have children and advocates each couple have only one child. For families who wish to have additional children, they must first request and be granted permission from the government. This law has allegedly led to many parents who have had children out of wedlock or give birth to more than one child to abandon them in order to avoid government sanctions. Copyright 2015 Latinos Post. And then the other article that I read. But 
stopped recording, so... Texas Democrats filibuster controversial abortion law. I don't know if this is the one that I... Yeah. I think that's not the one that I read already. Maybe it was. It's possible. Nope. This wasn't it. sneaker lady <sighs> never find it it's so long gosh Still looking. Still looking. Mm. <sighs> it's about a filibuster. Democrat from Texas, I think. Yes. Cable News fails to cover historic Texas Senate filibuster of anti-abortion law. Written by me. Ugh. First posted June 26, 2013 at 2.57 p.m. A Texas Senate filibuster of a controversial anti-abortion law riveted hundreds of thousands across the country late Tuesday night as Senator Wendy Davis, Democrat Fort Worth, successfully stopped the legislation, but the audience was comprised of mostly online viewers. Networks like CNN and Fox failed to cover the historical moment for women's rights, a lapse in news judgment lamented across the internet Wednesday. Starting at 11 a.m. Tuesday, Texas Senator Davis began a marathon, 13-hour-long filibuster to block a stringent anti-abortion bill from passing in her home state. The event was streamed live on YouTube, and Hypervocal reports that at its peak, approximately 180,000 people were tuned in to watch the drama unfold. Now, major cable news networks are under intense fire for their failure to cover what was arguably the hottest news Tuesday night. While political observers were glued to YouTube and going insane on Twitter, the news networks were apparently oblivious to the story. During the time when viewership of the filibuster was at its highest, Fox was airing an interview about Iraq, MSNBC was focused on a climate debate, and CNN showed a segment featuring Piers Morgan discussing the calories in a blueberry muffin with Dr. Drew Pinsky, Time Entertainment reports. Citizens across the country slammed the network's editorial choices on editorial choices Wednesday on Twitter. Quote, you are a dis- disgrace, CNN. You cannot call yourself a news channel. End quote. Actress Mia Farrow tweeted. Quote, does anyone at CNN, MSNBC, or Fox follow Twitter? Yet another major fail by cable's, cable news nets right now. End quote. Read a tweet by Keith Olbermann. Quote, not even MSNBC and not even C-SPAN is carrying the hashtag SB5 filibuster live. What happened to breaking news, cable networks, end quote, Jamal Thalji tweeted. Quote, why isn't any of the Wendy Davis filibuster covered on any of the cable news networks? Thank science for the internet, end quote, Kathleen Brown tweeted. Quote, there's 400 C-SPAN channels, not to mention numerous cable news networks and yet 
We are all streaming the Texas Senate filibuster online, end quote, Stephanie Gordon tweeted. Here's what those news networks chose to ignore Tuesday night. In a bid to block a strict anti-abortion law dubbed SB5, Davis used a 13-hour filibuster to stand up to Republicans who had passed the bill in the House early Monday. Donning comfortable pink sneakers, the Texas senator began speaking at 11 a.m. on Tuesday and continued until midnight when the deadline for passing the bill expired. Davis was not allowed to stop speaking the entire time, nor take breaks for meals or to use the bathroom. She was not even permitted to lean against anything for support. But in the eyes of the Texas Senate and women's reproductive rights advocates, Davis garnered a major victory by sticking it through to the end, even if Republican legislators attempted to illegally pass the bill anyway, minutes after voting was officially closed. Side note, I also made this side note when I recorded it before and then it shut itself off. The, my recording app. Any, um, the last bit of that paragraph sounds a little biased. Like where um, my link, I like, had, it's linked to another article. That's probably where the bias might have come from. But, um, should have been edited. I don't know if, like, I don't remember if I had, if I was an editor at the time when I wrote this, or if I had a different editor, but anyway, end of side note. According to International Business Times, if SB5 had passed, the anti-abortion legislature would have banned all abortion after 20 weeks and shut down all but five of Texas's abortion clinics. The law would have further required that clinics be classified as ambulatory surgical centers, an upgrade most can't afford. Doctors would also have been required to have admitting privileges at a hospital within 30 miles, difficult if not impossible, in some rural areas of Texas. Copyright 2015, Latinas Post.